Good evening, beautiful people, and happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. And if you're not, don't worry, we're here to make you feel better with some hot tea. Yes, our hashtag today is Tuesday Treat. What do you want to treat yourself to? How do you want us to treat you? Okay, no, I, I regret asking that because some of your DMs are a bit crazy i'm not trying to ask for more but yeah how do you treat yourself let us know on our social media handle switch tv kenya on facebook and twitter and switch tv ke on instagram i am joyce minor yes well going everybody how you doing i hope you're feeling fantastic it's a beautiful tuesday you know i'm serving some you know kuivana muivano i hope treat zako zime eva mtu wangu she get a lot so na kutengeneza kitu ya kudishi lakini na vinya cooking skills iko chini bado watu wacheze juu but welcome to the show it's your girl kush tracy otherwise remember our social media platforms at switch tv kenya on facebook on twitter and on instagram at switch tv ke utuambie wagwa na sisi tunakushoni jazz karibuni yes good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching us across the globe so depending on what time you get to watch this hata kwa youtube wase mkoaje i hope mko fantastic i know it's a cold gloomy evening but we are here to make sure you your tea is hot so do you have your mandazis and your escorts ready because the tea today is hot anyway guys our hashtag today is tuesday treats well i don't know what you're treating but treat people with kindness welcome to the show i am nano witty yes. <laughs> what do you do to treat yourself like when you're you know you've done something good or you're in a good mood what do you do to treat yourself <laughs> I think I go on some vacay. <laughs> That's your treat. That's how you treat yourself every day. Like, you know, if I feel I want to go somewhere, I'm going to go somewhere, I'm uh -huh. going to have a good time. Uh -huh. And you know, thank God for life. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. Nana? I think I pray for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's important to pray. Yeah. Pray for you. Thank mm -hmm. God for sleep. Hey. Hey. That's how you God treat yourself. Sleep. Honestly speaking, because most of the time I have kids all oh, the time lie. with me yeah. so anytime i get free time uh -huh. where, where, me to I, to lala sleep are you sleep? serious when i sleep or not i just want to be alone like what? that's how i want to unwind uh, yeah. Well, I, mean, yeah. i like to you? take myself like on dates like if i don't have anyone to go yeah. Yeah. yeah if i don't have anyone yeah. to go with i take myself to a nice restaurant and i sit by myself and i chill and i have but my food i find that weird I it's don't know not why. weird me i don't find it I'm weird like, like enjoy your own company yeah. you for know? me it's not because i want to treat and yeah. there's, there's just that feeling of i just want to you just know, want to sleep to just be alone oh yeah I'll, i'll go for dates when i want yeah but honestly no, you I ask me right uh -huh. now you ask me nana uka cho peke yako sayuta do na lala no but you see for I you it makes sense you're constantly surrounded by people who need you yeah. you know as we can just ignore people like, even my mother will be like nah i don't want to do that today <laughs> you know yeah. but you're surrounded by people who need you all the time exactly. i think it's like different we'll have different feelings towards this yeah. treating ourselves so sure. <laughs> once we have you know a family and once we have yes. peace, we can understand that is definitely a whole different situation but until then yeah it's how to enjoy mo enjoy what to do and be enjoy now enjoy now because when the kids come they don't know how to let you enjoy but guys you know the tea is ready very hot it's time for pop spot first story and we're talking about Grace Musalame. Well, Grace Musalame is a very seasoned media personality and she's a mother, she's a business person and just the other day she did a Q&A session where, you know, she asked guys ask ask her questions and she gets to answer them now she did a q and a and, and guys were asking about the vaginal bath after cesarean section that's what a vbc means mm -hmm. it means that before that you had uh, a, a, a not really <laughs> a what a c section yeah c section oh, then, before, oh, before then, like okay. you had a c section and then now you have a vaginal bath oh, that's, right. that's what okay, is okay, called okay. A, a vaginal bath mm -hmm. after c section mm -hmm. so she the first kids of course the, the twins she got them uh, via cesarean section and now the second one the second child no of course the third child is a boy that came in a couple of months ago and she had a vaginal bath and guys were asking how was it like and guess what it was a water bath la, 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 water la, bath la, is la, basically la. you being in a water like a water mass and you're giving bath what like the inside the water yes so guys are asking how about that and this this was her reply Uh, maybe on his first birthday it will all sink in i still can't believe this particular prayer was answered and just how i desired at the comfort of my of my own home i had my water baby yani ni mungu tu imagine niliomba yangu yote so basically how she is celebrating that her son is called isaiah and of course there's a reason why i'm muita ivo she will tell us of course and that's the story hey. isaiah is a good is a good boy in the bible who 
Isaiah. What did he do? Really? He has I'm to have an to attribute. Remember, yeah. Let me check. Isaiah. I yes. Know. It means Isaiah. something. Yeah. Isaiah was ali na qualities poor sana for really? for a for a lad. Was yes. he the one who was blessed? No. But I think he also got blessed. I don't know why. I think so. I need to refresh but anyway, my Bible what, memory. Like, mm. I don't. Know. Okay. <laughs> what about like, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you Isaiah enjoy was a prophet. He was a prophet. Yeah, yes. he was okay, a prophet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would never in a million years have a water bath. I, I know I would. Like, in fact, I, w I want to, like, be dragged up <laughs> so <laughs> that I can give birth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel that pain. I don't care what you say. Yeah. I don't want to feel that pain. So mm -hmm. do you want to do an, an elect elective, uh, like, session where you, you say, I want to give yeah, birth on a certain course. day, no, not give but a not normally? Like no, of course I want to do a vaginal birth, but if it's possible to get, what are those injections called? Oh, the one epidural. I, don't call I want to get epidural. an epidural, my friend. Me, I don't care what you say. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I don't care if you say, oh, if you have an experienced neighbor, you're not a real woman. I don't care. No, it's as not even about that. As epidural. it does that de determine yeah. whether someone is a real Some woman? Some people say that. Because you've not. You have to go through the pain. I don't think it makes I'm like, yeah. nah, me. The same way, but you know when you say no. that, the same thing, if you had a kid and maybe you could abandon to Iwako, yeah. that makes you not a real woman, At not all, a real yeah. mom. So you shouldn't even call yourself a mom. Yeah. So I feel like it's double standard. Yeah. But I'm with you, yeah. but personally, I'm for C-section. Like, kile, ni me decide ni C-section. Yeah. I'm not gonna, my nini. Mm -hmm. But what about after care? That is called elective. It's okay, we shall elective care. I'll <laughs> take a break. <laughs> That's called I'm gonna, elective. Yani yeah. mine is very, very particular. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to push. I can't but tolerance your pain. It's yeah. zero. I mean, no, Joel, no, let me tell you, there are so many cons of having an epidural. What if I don't do it here? I'll educate you. Thank you. No, whenever you Jab go. Jobless the <laughs> air tickets. Whenever you go. <laughs> to tell them, Ali, to tell them. It's standard. It's standard, well, it's standard. Like, yeah. It could actually you, call, yeah. cause immobility. Yeah, you could become paralyzed. Yes. But, but I know. feel like kuna wasi wa meduna wako saa. At the end of the day, it's, you just make but sure you're going to the right. Exactly. You, you go yeah. to the and right place. Ali, what we've She was in the hospital just removing her own baby because she's not feeling pain. She's like, oh, he's out. Yay. I mean, you just have to use the right doctors. Honestly, <laughs> exactly. if you go to a shady place, it's like when you exactly. want to get you know, a plastic surgery, you want to get maybe a boob job. Yeah, a, if you go to some kuna shady place. Kuna wase and they are good. Mm -hmm. But kuna wase, wali end as a homes, like a kiru, mm -hmm. kadogo, and things end up being, you know, haywire. That's so true. So I think at the end of the day, it depends. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Yeah, choice. But Mincha, choose, choose wisely. Yeah. But as we choose, <laughs> let me take you to the new chosen winner of Miss Universe 2021. <laughs> See what I did there? Slid it in. <laughs> anyway, so the new winner is goes by the name Andre Meza and she is of Chinese Mexican descent and she's not only beautiful, she has brains. She's a software engineer graduate and she beat out, let me read for you, uh, in the final five, she beat out Miss India, Miss Brazil, Miss Dominican Republic and Miss Peru and of course one of my favorite people in the whole world Zozi Tunzi if you don't know how she won um Miss I think it was also Miss Universe last year and she was there to crown the new winner and of course you know there were tears in happiness and all of that but yeah that is the new Miss Universe 2021 so Ooh, congratulations nice to one. Andrea is it Andrea and yeah. yeah, Andrea Meza. <laughs> Congratulations. I know it's amazing when you're a Meza. See Meza, yeah, you're Meza. I'm going to say Meza. I'm going to say Meza. I'm going to say but she yeah, like, you know, the, the difference. And she's beauty and brains. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so good. Good for you, yeah. man. Good for you. She, she's so beautiful, but also love the fact that that culture of the previous one yeah. crowning the next one. Yes. Like, just be the woman that, do you your story? Be the woman who fixes other mm. women's crowns without, telling, 20, the, without yeah. telling the world that it's been crooked. Exactly. It's actually yeah. 2019, not last year. Oh, it's 2019. Year. 2019. Oh, 2019. Okay. I had to confirm because... You know, it was it was historical. You know yeah. what I mean? The first African to win Miss Universe, mm, and she looked yeah. like, like the way she looked. She wasn't mixed. You get what I mean? Nothing nothing wrong against the Africans who are mixed, but she was melanated. Like she was literally yeah. representing you Africa to the core. To the core. Like you get the dark skin, the yes. melanin, the hair, the yes, everything. Yeah, you know, na jonga mungezoka juice. Meona dunia. But yeah, let me take you guys to the next story of which.